Hey guys, it's the Eggman, and today I'm playing on No Man's Land, and I get 226 kills. So I'm basically just going to show you how I got this many kills and how you can get this many kills or more just by using this little strategy that I use. So you have to start off uh, by having Juggernaut on the map instead of Speed Cola, because Speed Cola will basically only, only <laughs> get you in trouble. So next you have to get about 1,800 points or more, preferably more obviously. But 1800 is just about right. Uh, and you don't want to waste ammo by getting those points. So uh, next you just start getting your rave train going. You got to watch out for those zombies spawning on the right of the pack-a-punch there. Because they are just horrible. So as you can see, dogs uh, at this level right now are just one knife uh, kills. So just knife them uh, until I think the third alarm noise there one knife kills so you just keep doing that and then uh, maybe just shoot a, a clip of your M1911 into the zombie train and then throw a grenade at that wall as you saw me do and get some crawlers and then knife them uh, just to get your points up you should have around 4,000 or so uh, once you finish off your M1911 mag luckily I have a little bit more uh, so just keep shooting them there and then once you're out of the M1911 ammo, just uh, and you got your rape train all set up, just throw another grenade at that wall and just wait for them to become crawlers. Unfortunately, I didn't get that many crawlers, and if I would have, I probably would have had enough points to pack a punch right there. But uh, right now, I have to go around a couple more times uh, to get the 5,000 points to pack a punch, of course. And uh, that dog almost screwed me over right there, so lucky, lucky enough that area is open. Uh, so now I'm just stabbing a couple more zombies. Go around one more time and stab another zombie to get 5,000 points. And I go and pack a punch the M1911s. So stab this guy and watch out for that zombie, of course. Now, you have just, you have over enough time to get around that pool and get your pack a punch uh, M1911 back. Uh, so don't be afraid to just go all the way around. Now what you have to do is shoot all the zombies that are all trained up together because you're going to need the 2,500 points now to go get the Juggernaut. And where Juggernaut is on that uh, teleporter pad area, that's where you're going to be doing the main rape train for the rest of your kills. So uh, don't be afraid to take alternate routes because usually you're going to get stuck like I almost did there. So I got to, I had to go through the cage. And now I'm just gaining points to get uh, 2,500 to get Juggernaut. And uh, I'm just trying to train the zombies, which might take a little while, depending on differences in zombie spawns and dog spawns. Uh, so it'll only take me a couple more laps, and I'll be able to go up the stairs and uh, get Juggernaut. Uh, so right about now, dogs are definitely not one knife hits, or kills, sorry. And you do not want to come anywhere near them because three hits from them will kill you, but they can hit a lot faster when there's a group of them. So uh, just keep going with these points and just about one more lap. I should be going up to get the pack-a-punch. I mean, sorry, jug. <laughs> and... Uh, just shoot them right here. I was so stupid. I, it sucks that I didn't get that extra 50 points. But uh, I get the extra 50 points going up here. So I get Jug. Make sure you run around the teleporter pad, not onto it. Because you might accidentally teleport. So right now, uh, if you got any crawlers, try and knife them. And right up here, dogs don't spawn. I'm not sure if I told you that. But they don't spawn, which makes it a lot easier to get kills. Uh, because it's only zombies that spawn and they become crawlers and whatever, so it's a bunch easier. Right about now, uh, zombies only take about one or two M19 or Mustang and Sally shots uh, to uh, die, but higher levels you're going to need to shoot like two at a time, so you're going to make sure you're fully healed up and you don't have any of those red markers on your screen. But right about now, I'm just doing like a figure eight motion, and uh, if they get. Uh, too far into your figure eight if you know what I mean you just go around one or two times just to get them all compact together 
and uh, just shoot a couple shots, let them all die. If there's a couple guys left, just knife them. So then you just keep going with the uh, rape train after you stab all these little crawlers. As you can see, they take a lot of knives now. Uh, so once you got that one guy, just rape train them like you would a uh, whole group of 24. Um, so they're going to be coming now, just getting some extra points for no reason, you know, just knifing them. So they're all spawning in. As you can see, there are no dogs, which is very helpful because when dogs just, like, run past you, they completely cock-block your M19, or Mustang and Sally Bullet again, sorry. Uh, and you just shoot the dog and not the, the train, which is really annoying because you don't get the kills, obviously. So right about now, I'm going to start shooting two at once, which will mostly make them crawlers at this level. Uh, so just shoot another one off and then maybe one more if they all don't die. I'm not really sure right now at this point if it's better to shoot them uh, near them, like near their feet, or like toward the group of the zombies, like near their chests, because I'm not sure if it's the, uh, the splash damage that does more damage or the direct damage. So uh, what I do off of theory is just shoot on the ground, because that'll make them crawlers and then I can shoot around them to make them obviously die <laughs> so right now I'm just basically going for it now just doing the same rape train as I'm going to be doing for this entire thing what you want to do is wait to get the entire train of zombies also uh, so you don't waste ammo because you definitely want to conserve ammo uh, so back to the pack-a-punching when you have to pack-a-punch you really should try and get like really early before about three minutes before two and a half minutes is the best you can get so uh, after you get the Mustang and Sally's uh, they do do a lot of damage I'm just mumbling now honestly I don't really have much to say because <laughs> I just wanna let you watch the rest of the video basically uh, but either way uh, these zombies are a lot stronger now, especially when they're crawlers for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably due to the fact that I'm hitting only one crawler and just the rest of them aren't dying. I was lucky there to jump over those short crawlers. Thankfully, you can actually jump over the crawlers instead of them being just like a regular zombie, only short. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm just still doing my train. Uh, you want to try and get the train close to your crawler so you can actually try and kill your crawlers along with your train. Uh, so, right now I'm not really trying to follow a real figure eight pattern right now. Just because I'm fooling around right now, basically. I knew I was doing good, but I didn't think I was going to do that good. Uh, but this was like the first or second time I actually realized that dogs don't spawn up here. So then I'm like, wow, this is an amazing strategy. <laughs> but either way, this is probably the best strategy you can get because there are no dogs to really cock block you. Uh, and speaking of cock blocking, these zombies can definitely cock block you because if you do get that figure eight all screwed up and you have to go around the teleporter, they might still be coming up the stairs and you will get screwed over. I have had that happen before. Uh, luckily, in this video, I almost get screwed over, but I get to go right past him, right next to Juggernaut. So, that was close, but I still got all the kills. Unfortunately, at the, at the uh, end of this video, I had, like, two more Mustang and Sally shots left, but I killed myself because I was getting a little cocky with the last, like, six bullets. So, I could I probably could have got at least... 10 more kills, because I had a lot of crawlers when I was shooting at them. But, uh, right now I'm still doing my rape train. Uh, crawlers can still be knifed, I believe, just depending on where they were during the explosion, of course, of the Mustang and Sally. Um, you just... That's, this is basically what you do. I can't really say much. This is what you do. You just run around in a circle or figure eight motion. Definitely don't shoot uh, uh, both Mustang and Sally's at the same time after you've been hit, because you might uh, blink red, and then one hit and you're down, which is obviously bad. Uh, and at the end of the video, I do do a, a bad thing where I shoot uh, both 
M19 or Mustang and Sally's uh, at the same time, twice in a row. So that's what killed me. I I got like two hits basically. It, it was like two zombies hitting me and then two zombies hitting me with Juggernaut. So then I went down because I got all my ammo or sorry, all my health depleted. But uh, just after you shoot your two. Uh, Mustang and Sally's at the same time, just, you've got time, you can, like, let it cool down, you've, you've got time to shoot the zombies, uh, I think it's coming up soon where I have to, uh, jump out of the way, uh, by the juggernaut, so as you can see, I'm just shooting right next to the crawlers, and none of them are dying, uh, Right there, I was like, wow, 208 kills because my last record was 209. I'm like, oh, I might actually beat this. So then uh, right here, I'm like, oh, nope, that wasn't the one, but that was pretty close too. <laughs> There's one that's even closer. Right there, I was like, oh my god, 212 kills. I beat my record again. So I'm definitely going for higher because I'd, I'd really like to get in the top 100 because I'm in the top 200 right now. I'm about 200. Uh, but right now, uh, it's either you make them crawlers or you kill the crawlers that were made. So that's basically all you can do. Uh, just keep running around, as I said before. <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot, pe lot of people go a lot more kills than me in a lot less time because they got the, oh, there it is, the pack-a-punch at about before two minutes, which is extreme. See, that's where I went down by shooting the two uh, Mustang and Sally's at the same time. Uh, but, looks like this is the end of it. Uh, I go 226 kills with 20,000 points. I only got 7 headshots for some reason too, but either way, see ya.